This video is brought to you by Cable, and more on that later. Imagine back in 2020, if Nigerian youth would have invested in real estate instead of investing in crypto. What do you think it would look like? All the money that was invested in crypto, invested in real estate. I just bought this house and I'm literally selling it for a dollar. That truck that just drove by could have pulled in with a dollar and bought this house. Then also you might start to think, I thought real estate was for the rich people. Well, to be honest, so is crypto. But somehow, we still manage to buy and sell crypto. Most times, to be honest, the reason why we don't invest in so many things isn't that we don't have enough money to invest in them. Nah, it's far from that. Most of the times, it's a lack of knowledge for the thing that we should invest in or maybe very little assurance of getting our money back as soon as possible and maybe even with some profit with it. So as a result of that, we just go with whatever is trending and whatever we hear people are making money from. But the fact that you have some few changes to spare and trade in cryptocurrency makes you rich enough to be able to also invest in other stuff. And so that's why you have me here on this channel sharing multiple perspective ideas with you about this whole making money online stuff and then you can decide at least to embark on which path you want to take you know if maybe you want to invest in all the things that i mentioned on this channel you can actually go ahead and do so all you need to know is that always think about diversification always think about spreading your investments into multiple sources that would bring you money and also in case you don't know almost 90 percent of the millionaires in the united states of america all invest in real estate in some way or the other so now we are left with two very critical assumptions it's either that they have no idea what they're doing they're just lucky when they invest they make money or there's something that they know which we don't hmm. so now what if i told you that you can be able to own a property and earn profits from it with as low as 5,000 naira watch till the end of this video and i'll tell you how to do so but for now let's go for a ride <laughs> Okay guys, so back in the days, if you want to start investing, maybe start moving to real estate, you would have to have maybe some kind of, uh, you know, savings or maybe some kind of investment. You need to have like millions to be able to start investing in the uh, real estate. And uh, that's one reason why a lot of people are not really trying or venturing into real estate because, you know, the thought about it being for the millionaires, for the rich people and everything like that. But, you know, since you can afford a little spare change, you know, to uh, invest in other stuff, by the end of this video, I'm going to let you know how you can be able to also use that same spare change to be able to start investing in real estate and also the main way that people use to invest in real estate or maybe move into real estate is by buying and selling properties it could be land it could be properties it depends on what people are more into and the next one is like buying a property or maybe building a property then renting it out to tenants that will be paying you rental fee you know every month they will be paying you rent or maybe at the end of the year they'll pay you rent so that way you're kind of like making income from the rental fee that you earn from your tenants and you can also call that passive income and the final way that i have here that people use to also invest in real estate is by having a crowd fund maybe like you know they kind of come together people come together and they pay a certain amount you know everybody puts in their money in a certain account and they buy a property so maybe they kind of rent it out or maybe uh, you know wait for the value to uh, increase or go high then they sell the property and earn the profits you know it's kind of like a collective effort, like collective effort of people coming together to try and earn something for themselves so what i'm going to introduce to you is kind of similar to that as well but anyway let's head back to the studio so now that we've had that out of the way again how can you be able to start or own a property in real estate with as low as 5,000 naira well that would be thanks to the sponsors of our today's video Kebble. Kebble is a platform that provides you with the opportunity to be able to invest your money in real estate by buying properties with as low as 5,000 naira or ten dollars i know you might be wondering how can five thousand naira buy you a property well let me explain this even more when i say you buy a property i mean you buy a fraction or part of that property which makes you an owner of the property as well as any other person that decides to also buy into that property this is just like buying stocks only that for stock you buy companies and for real estate you buy properties that kind of rhymes <laughs> The way it works is that the company buys a certain property and then divides the property into fractional pieces of shares so it would be affordable for you to be able to buy a piece of that property and own it as an investor. And also, as you know, land and properties hardly lose value. They always kind of appreciate, they don't appreciate. So as the value increases, as the value goes up, so does your investment in the property. 
I know you would say maybe you just have a little amount like 5,000, you know, invested in that property. How much could it make you? You can earn anything up to like 28 to 30% ROI per annum or even more than that, depending on your investment. But also if you remember 5,000 might not be the only thing that you invest in this. You could invest more than 5,000. You could invest like as much as you can in this. And guess what? That makes you a landlord or a landlady. And if you also remember, 90% of the millionaires in the US also invest in real estate in some way or the other. And I don't need to remind you that rich people know what they're doing when it comes to money. And also, if you're someone like me who also wants to own a property and invest in real estate, but doesn't have the energy to deal with the hassle that comes with dealing with tenants and all the things like that then this platform is for you and also all i have said up to now might not be enough for you to understand how this platform works well worry not just go ahead and click on this video right here to watch a full step-by-step -step tutorial that i made on how to be able to start using this platform to also invest in the real estate and also invest in properties and own a property for yourself so i'll see you guys in the very next video Thanks for watching. For stock, you own companies, and for real estate, you own properties.